my name is Morgan Duval. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. And today I'm going to teach you how to do three different kinesio taping techniques on your foot and ankle. So the first technique that we are going to talk about is taping for the lateral ankle. Now this is a technique that I use for um, ankle sprain. Uh, anytime that you're having discomfort on the outside of your foot and ankle, this can absolutely be helpful. So the Kinesio Tape, there's a lot of different brands. Uh, there is the brand Kinesio Tape. Uh, there's also a Rock Tape. You can find so much out there. It's very readily available on Amazon and it's pretty affordable. What's nice about the Kinesio Tape is that um, it, doesn't, it doesn't provide a lot of support. So it's not going to be like wearing an ace bandage. It's not going to be like wearing a brace. But it does give you just a teeny tiny bit of support in the areas that are taped which can be really helpful when you're recovering from an injury. It's just a little bit more confidence there uh, with the structures and where you've taped. Um, additionally, what the Kinesio Tape does is when you put it on your skin, it actually pulls your skin up a little bit away from the fascia and the underlying tissue. Now this is important because it creates more blood flow, uh, which can absolutely assist in healing and help just speed along that healing process. Okay, let's start with lateral ankle taping. So I have a little bit of Kinesio tape here. Um, most Kinesio tape brands, you're gonna find that they have little squares on the uh, backside. So what I'm going to do is cut about four of those squares. And I'm gonna do that twice. So I have two strips that are about four squares long. And then I'm also going to cut a third strip that is about two squares long. And I'm going to use two pieces that are four squares and one piece that is two squares uh, for all of the techniques that I'm going to tell you about today. Now, um, I like to round the edges of my kinesio tape because I think that it sticks a little bit better. So what I'll do is I'll just take my scissors and round the edges and it makes it so that the tape does not peel off as easily. Now, this tape, once you put it on, you can leave it on for about two to three days. It will stay on in the shower. Um, it'll kind of start to peel off at the edges, and you can absolutely, when that starts to peel off, just go ahead and take it off because it's time to um, apply new tape at that point. Another tip that I have is if you have lotion on your skin, the tape is not going to stick. So make sure that you do not have any lotion on your skin at all. You can wipe your foot down with like rubbing alcohol, maybe just wash it off. Um, but any lotion is not, not going to allow the tape to stick. Okay? All right. So step one, now that I have my edges rounded, uh, what I'm going to do here is take the paper off of the tape. So I'm going to rip the tape. And as you can see, the paper is ripping, but the tape is not, right? So I'm going to rip it just a little bit here at the top and then pull the pieces apart. And now the paper has ripped in half, but as you can see, the tape is still intact. I'll take off one side of the paper, just like this. Now what I'm going to do is make basically an X across my ankle. And I'll roll up my pants here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the X that's going this way. Um, I'll place the tape right here. It's just in front of my lateral malleolus, which is uh, this bone right here. Okay, I'm gonna place the tape on my skin, make sure it's on there really good, and I'll take off the second piece of paper. Now, if I just tape it down like this, it's not really doing much of anything, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it. I'm not pulling it to 100% of its stretch. I'm pulling it to about 75% of its stretch. So it's almost completely pulled, but not quite. And I'll make a nice line diagonally from right in front of my lateral malleolus, this bone right here, to about mid-calf. All right? I'm going to do the same thing with my other piece of tape, but I'm going to make an X the opposite direction. Okay, so this time I'm going right over the lateral malleolus, this bony structure here. I'm going to start on the heel, get it on there really well, take the tape off, give it a nice 75% pull, and then pat it down. And you can see right here I kind of messed up a little bit, I have a little bit of like a fold in the tape, and kind of just pick up the edge of the tape and take that off. Okay, I now have my smaller piece of tape. I will rip it, pull, take half of it off. I'm gonna start behind my lateral malleolus near my Achilles tendon right here. Place the tape on, make sure it's on there really good. Now I'm gonna give it a nice pull all the way to the front of the ankle, which is right here. So now I feel nice and stable and supported and my taping technique is complete. 
All right. So I'm going to just use these same pieces of tape because I'm trying to save a tree. Uh, normally you would not reuse tape like this, but I'm going to again because I just want to save a tree and not waste too much tape here. Okay, so I'm very carefully taking it off. When you take yours off, you don't have to be as careful as I'm being. Like I said before, this is just a tape saving technique. It is for video and instructional purposes only. Okay, so I'm going to turn around so you can see the inside of my ankle. We already talked about lateral ankle taping, and now we are going to talk about medial ankle taping. Now, typically, this taping technique I will do um, if a patient has posterior uh, tibialis symptoms or any plantar fasciitis, because this taping technique actually supports the sole of the foot a little bit, which can be very helpful for plantar fasciitis symptoms, uh, possibly flat foot, lack of an arch. This can also be very helpful. So what I'm gonna do here, um, this is my medial malleolus, this bony structure right here. If you kind of palpate down below the medial malleolus and find your way to a pretty bony point, mine is right here, this is a bone called the navicular. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go from the plantar surface of the foot over the navicular and then past the medial malleolus. And the reason that I'm um, making sure that I go over the navicular is because the posterior tibialis, that muscle that can tend to be kind of irritated, uh, attaches right here at the navicular. So what I will do is place one end of my tape on the bottom of my foot, make sure it's nice and stuck on there. I'm going right over that navicular and over my medial malleolus here. It's about halfway up the calf. And again, remember that's about 75% stretch, okay? And then I'm going to take my other four, uh, four square piece I'm going to start it at the same spot, just underneath my arch, give it that 75% pull, and I'm just taking it upwards. It's a little in front of my first piece right here, okay? And I will say, typically for medial ankle, I don't use my third two square piece. You can absolutely do the same thing that you did with the lateral ankle, but I find that um, it, it, doesn't, it just doesn't do quite as much as it does on the lateral ankle. And the reason for that is because that posterior tibialis muscle uh, doesn't um, cross as intensely behind the medial malleolus as the peroneal musculature, which I actually, actually haven't talked about, but the peroneal musculature, which is the lateral ankle stabilizer, uh, crosses right behind that lateral malleolus. And it tends to feel really good to have that third piece for support there. Medial malleolus, uh, medial taping, you don't really need that as much, but you can absolutely put that piece on if it does feel good, okay? So I'm going to take my pieces off and once again, because I have one more taping technique to show you. Okay, so the last taping technique I have to show you here is actually for the Achilles. Um, I use this technique quite a bit for patients with Achilles tendonitis. Um, I'll use this post-op for an Achilles lengthening procedure, lots of different reasons, but anytime that you do have pain in this area on the Achilles tendon, this can be a very helpful taping technique. So what I'll do is I'll take one of my four square pieces, I will place it right at the heel, it's right above the bottom of my foot here, okay? So maybe like a centimeter above, and I'm going straight up the Achilles uh, right at the back of the calf. So it's just going straight up. It's not diagonal like the other techniques were. I'll stabilize at the bottom, give it that nice 75% pull, tape at the top, and just make sure that it lays nice and flat over my Achilles, okay? Now, one thing I didn't mention before, but you may have noticed is that I'm taping um, with my foot in a pretty neutral position. I'm not like pointing it or flexing it. It's relatively neutral for all of these taping techniques. I'll take my smaller piece, all right, place it on one side of the ankle. It doesn't really matter if you place it medial and pull uh, lateral or if you place it lateral and pull medial, okay? So just do whatever is easier for you. I think medial to lateral is a little bit easier when you're self-taping. So right here, nice and stuck, 75% pull. I'm crossing right over my Achilles tendon right here. So I'll have nice support over that Achilles tendon lots of blood flow coming to that structure. Okay, there you have it, three ankle taping techniques described. Thank you so much for watching.